Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with chapter 3, Electric Current and Direct Current Circuit. So in this video, we are going to discuss 3.3 variations of the resistance with temperature. Okay, so before we start, we look first, uh, what is the equations that we can use for this subtopic? So the first one uh, we are going to use is the resistance okay, when the temperature is changed. So R final is equal to R initial times 1 plus alpha times change of the temperature okay so usually alpha is given here is at the temperature of 20 degrees celsius okay so these equations we know that the relationship between the resistance and the temperature where when the resistor is increased the temperature also will increase so it's directly proportional okay okay now we go straight away goes to example 5 where example 5 a copper wire has a resistance of 20 milli ohm at the temperature of 20 degrees celsius when the wire is carrying a current, the heat produced by the current causes the temperature of the wire increase by 27 degrees Celsius. So the coefficients of the resistivity of the copper is 6.8 exponent negative 3, yeah? meaning that this is the value for alpha. Okay, so now if we base on the diagram here, okay, initially when the temperature is at uh, 20 degrees Celsius, okay, the resistor initial is equal to 25 milli ohm. Okay, when you increase the temperature, okay, when you increase the temperature, okay, so when you increase the temperature by 27 degrees Celsius, okay, so meaning that the final temperature is become 47, uh, okay, the resistance, okay, so initially it's 20 degrees Celsius, Okay, and the resistor is 25 milli ohm. Okay, after that the temperature increases uh, by 27 degrees Celsius. So when increased by 27 degrees Celsius, our T final becomes 47. Okay, initially it's 20. Okay, after we increase 27 degrees Celsius, it becomes 47 degrees Celsius. So we need to determine what is the uh, final resistor. Okay, so now uh, based on the equation given just now, R final is equal to R initial 1 plus alpha times change of the temperature. Okay, with R final, we don't know. R initial is 25 milli. 1 plus alpha. Alpha is 6.8 exponent negative 3. And the change of the temperature is 47 minus 20 or we can straight away use 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, therefore, the R final that we will get here is equal to 2.9 59 exponent negative 2 ohm okay but if you read the questions carefully actually they want to calculate the change okay change meaning that we want to find r final minus r initial okay so we need to do one more step to find the change huh? so we will take r final minus r initial where r final is 2.959 exponent negative 2 and the initial is 25 milli so it's 25 exponent negative 3 Okay, so the change in the wire resistance, finally we will get answer for 0.59 exponent negative 3 ohm. Okay, so this is the changes of the wire resistance. Okay, next B. If the original current was 10 mA and the potential difference across the wire remained constant. Okay, what is the final current? So here we have before and after. Okay, before we increase the temperature, the current here is 10 mA ampere and uh, R initial is 25 milli ohm 25 milli ohm okay but V we don't know uh, V we don't know so we just write V okay after that when we increase the temperature I final we don't know R final is the value we get just now uh, this one uh, final so I substitute 2.959 exponent negative 2 and V final because the question mentioned mean remain constant so it's actually equals to V okay V final is equal to V initial okay so since the questions already mentioned V final is equal to V initial or constant so we can substitute I initial R initial equals to I final R final okay so we substitute in R initial is 10 milli R initial is 25 milli Okay, it's equal to I final, we don't know And R final is 2.959 exponent negative 2 Okay, so if we press calculator I final, we will get 8.45 exponent negative 3 ampere Okay, so this is the final current 
Okay, next we'll go to example 6. Okay, example 6 here, we have a wire coin has a resistor of 8 ohm at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. And another one is 7.2 ohm at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, what is the temperature coefficients of the resistor at 20 degrees Celsius? So we're going to find what is the value alpha here. Okay, what is the value? Okay, what is the value alpha? Okay, so initially we have two cases. Okay, so initially the temperature is at 20 degrees. Yeah? When the temperature at 20 degrees Celsius, R is R0. Okay, initial. Okay, when you increase the temperature at uh, 80 degrees Celsius, okay, here 80 degrees Celsius, the temperature at 80 degrees Celsius at that time, R is equal to 8 ohm. Okay, and when the temperature at 30 degrees Celsius, the resistor is at 7.2 ohm. So I will draw it here, temperature at 30 degrees Celsius, the resistor is 7.2 ohm. Okay, so here we have two cases. Huh? The first one is of course between between initial and 7.2. Okay, the second one is between initial and 8 ohm. Okay, so this is case one, this is case two. So I will write down the equation for case one by using this equation R equals to R naught 1 plus alpha times change of D. Okay, so we substitute all the value for case one initial and the final is 7.2, initial is R naught. 1 plus alpha times the change of the temperature. So change of the temperature here is uh, here 30 and 20. Okay, so the change of temperature is we can use 30 minus 20 or is actually equals to 10. Okay, so this is our first equation where this first equation we have two unknown. The first one is R0, the second one is alpha. Okay, okay next for the second case. Second case is final, uh, final resistor is 8, initial we don't know. 1 plus alpha and the change of temperature is 20 to 60 degrees Celsius okay therefore our change of the temperature here is actually 18 minus 20 so it's equal to 60 degrees Celsius so I substitute here 60 okay then you can do it okay you can do it in ratio where R0 R0 we can cancel okay and then we can uh, find the value for alpha Okay, so finally alpha is equal to 2.27 exponent negative 3 degree per Celsius. Okay, so this is the answer for the temperature coefficients of the resistor. Okay, so that's all for this video. We will continue with the new subtopic, okay, which is electromotive force.